Let's get tell by the title. Day has finally come. I bit the bullet and I bought myself a stereo. Cue music, video, montage, weird things. Yeah. <laughs> Best bike on the market, honestly, hands down. So happy I finally bought one of these things. I was very iffy at the start, because the price tag, obviously, in America, they're like about four and a half, five grand. In Australia, it's about seven grand. So, $7,000 for an electric motorbike that doesn't have sound to it, I couldn't find that justifiable. But since I bought this thing, I've never looked back. I've never looked back. Modifications for this thing are endless. The power in this thing, it's always going to put a smile on your face, no matter what. The range, some people think the range on these aren't even that good. Depends on about how you ride it. If you're popping wheelies all the time and you constantly got brake regen on, which is where it sends kinetic energy back into the battery to restore and charge it again, or just makes the range, you know, add a little bit extra. You can go a lot further on these than you think. If you're constantly on the throttle, range is going to deplete. Obviously, it's like a battery. Use a phone all the time battery's going to go flat. You don't use your phone as much, you're going to have better charge. It's stealth, so no one's going to look at you. No one really hears you. This is the maximum they will hear. It's not very loud. It's not obnoxious. Hands down, one of the funnest things ever bought. Not many upgrades have been done to it, just the simple ones. Seat, better grip. Bigger pegs because the stock ones are horrible. Better rear tire and front tire. I definitely need to get new grips for this thing. Need to get the headlight mount again, front number plate. All that stuff's coming in the mail. I'll make a video of me putting all that together. But I may be selling this thing soon. Even though I just bought it, I may be selling this thing soon to a friend so then he can have one and I can upgrade E-Rod Pro, possibly, if not, P24 version of this, just with the silver frame, because I love the look of the silver. This reminds me of 450cc days. <laughs> best part about these bikes if you come from a mountain bike background you will take to this like i don't want to make a racist joke but i was about to you will take to this very very well you will adapt to this thing so easy same as dirt bike background you've got dirt bike background same thing transferable this thing rides like a dirt bike but it feels like a mountain bike this thing weighs almost nothing battery in it is the main weight It's not comfortable to pick up, but you can do it. If you need to lift it upstairs, take it on. Um, you can take these on trains as well, because there's no gas. You can take these on trains, public transport. Dude, you can take these anywhere. Strap it in the back of your ute, put it in your truck, because the boys, you're having a great weekend. It takes three hours to charge. From my experience, zero to 100. Sometimes it takes four hours. Just don't ride it straight after charging. These batteries are weird like that, because they're lithium. You want to wait about 15 to 20 minutes after fully charging, then ride it. Same as when you get home. Don't get home from a big ride, straight away plug it in. Let it sit for about an hour, then plug it in. Don't charge them overnight either. I'm sure you know why, I've seen horror stories. Always keep your eye on it when you're charging. Ride safe, enjoy it. Bro, let these things rip. Hey, funnest bikes in the world. 60 volt stock, like yes, you can upgrade them to the 72s. But that's big money. You're better off buying an E-Ride Pro SS for eight grand, saving yourself a middleman of modifying and doing all that stuff. Me personally, I love modifying, so I would go that route, but then to modify all of this to what a stock E-Ride would be, you're looking at about nine, ten grand. You buy an E-Ride for eight grand, there's two in your pocket, you know what I mean? You're laughing. Happy days. If you guys are thinking about buying one of these and you're unsure, 
all I have to say is watch YouTube videos over and over and over and if they don't make you smile you don't really want one you just you think they're cool which I mean they are they're fun as hell if you're watching those YouTube videos visualizing you want that bike buy one dude don't even think about it just go and buy one no matter what you're gonna do work hard purchase it It'll be the best thing you ever bloody did I literally sold one of my spare cars just to purchase this that's how much I wanted one I have not regretted it get yourself one today you will not regret it don't forget to like subscribe comment all that goodness hope you're enjoying the content stay tuned plenty of Zeron content is coming on my page I'll be dropping so many videos of this thing because it's so fun to ride I'm going to set up my GoPro again because it snapped off ages ago last summer actually get some mounts get it all sorted again for that point of view might even get another yeah I'll probably get another one for the handlebars do the two camera angle shiznickel but yeah stay tuned guys see you in the next one